Hello, fifth year. How are you? I hope you are okay. Um, today we are going to check, yes, uh, the pages from the uh, activity book 24, 25, and 26. We are going to do page 27 from the exam maximizer. Yes, these are from the exam maximizer. Uh, the listening part. Then we are going to work on pages 42 and 43 from the class book and. As for what you are going to do at page 28, exercises 1 and 2. 28, exercise one, exercises 1 and 2 from exam maximizer. And you are going to write examples, own examples with uh, extreme adjectives. Yes, okay. Well, how are you today? Fine, 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 fine. Okay, I have some... Well, I have some video mistakes, yes, please, um, I want you to have a look at the comments I made you there, uh, remember you have the, um, remember you have the comments I write you there, today is Tuesday, the 28th of April, it's sunny and hot, you have the comments I write you, um, uh, next to the video, yes, there are some um, grammar mistakes, uh, some um, pronunciation mistakes, yes, and you have to see everything, yes, what I evaluate, fluency, grammar, pronunciation, all right, yes, is it clear? Well, so uh, Anna, no mistakes there, it was well, 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 well done. Yes, okay. Um, yes, wait a minute. Uh, this is the review. Mistakes. Okay, Santi. Muy cortado te estoy encontrando, Santi. Yes. Parents effect seems extremely anyone. Ah, anyone, ojo. Todas las veces que uses anyone, someone, y eso el verbo va a ir con ese. Yes, okay. Um, extremely seems the pronunciation. These are pronunciation mistake. Seems extremely and a grammar mistake that is anyone likes. Pero te estoy notando muy cortado, muy 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 cortado. Así que eso mejoramos para la clase que viene, por favor. Yes, okay. Para el video que viene, que sería de la unidad que vamos a evaluar. Yes. Uh, pero es eso es lo que más. Yes. That is what you have to take into account. Yes, that you are. Tic, 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 tic. Yes, okay. NASA, uh, pronunciation, character. Remember the pronunciation? I will say, the pronunciation mistake, I will say it in class. But do as the teacher does, because I always do this. If I have a question, if I have a problem, or if I have a duh, not a question, a duh, I Google in the dictionary and I check the pronunciation. Yes, so do this. Character, legally. Architect, chemist, yes, not chemist, you know, chemist, character, legally, legally, sorry, legally, architect, his wife's vet, yes, okay, and uh, look at each other. Muy bien, uh, NASA, because I see that uh, you look, yes, uh, you made a kind of brainstorming, and then you say the story, yes, because the thing I don't want you to do is to read. Yeah, to put a paper and start reading and reading because I'm not going to be able to evaluate the um, fluency, okay? Because I'm not evaluating how you read. I am evaluating your fluency, okay? Muy bien. Good. Um, Martin at higher level, yes, themselves. I saw in Netflix the other day, on Netflix the other day, this film, and I remember that it was the one you told me, yes? But I didn't see it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Okay? Uh, themselves, prison, yes? There are um, two people, yes? Yeah. No, no. There are two people inside, because you say inside there are two people. But the inside is better at the end, yes? There are two people inside. Yes, they won't, sin la S, because you say they won't, 
a platform with a lot of food uh, más el, el verbo yeah? a platform with a lot of food served no sé si querías decir eso movie uh, boring no bored remember a movie can be boring no bored yes it is interesting yes ok and then coma iconic yes muy bien coma eh? te veo como re yes oh my god yes iconic um brain disaster you say and it's a brain disorder because the joker has a brain disorder <coughs> sorry i really like this film yes i really like um the joker yes but it was a very sad story yes okay and then you have uh, the difference between history and story this is the story of the joker yes not a history yes um Laugh at, comedian, yes, um, it make, no, it's made, you know, it makes me think, it makes me think, que no se chipotea esa ese por ahí, it makes me think, it makes me feel, yes, okay, uh, It made me think, it makes, it makes me think, it makes me feel. Yes, he changes, changes, yes, yeah, not changes, you know, changes. Yes, I think it is, no te olvides el it, ahí, story versus history, ya expliqué recién. Uh, how normal guys, um, ah, it makes, I remember, it makes uh, me think, yes, how normal guys become into super eh, villanos yes okay good eso creo que querías decir vos algo último okay Ivan introduced effects I like this movie a lot yes I like this movie a lot no I like eh, a lot this movie I like this movie a lot so Acordate que cuando vas a usar el so, it's so interesting, yes, ok, y le haces el énfasis, yes, pero si quieres usar en la forma escrita, vas a poner un that close, it's so interesting that you can see it, that you want to see it, concentrate, no, perdón, concrete, uh, publisher, and finishes, but the majority, well done, well done, Iván también es como que tiene una clase de kind of brainstorming, y se nota la fluency. Los otros también. Ana, no tuviste ningún error. NASA, well done. Santi, quiero que me mejores eso, por favor. Yes. Ok. Is it clear? Yes. Y eh, el resto. What happened, milagros, with you? Yes. Ok. Mili, para la próxima, ponerse en conte eh, contexto. Yes, ok. Nasa, well done. Teresita, well done too. Yes. Uh, you told me that uh, you had the, you knew the story by heart. Que lo sabía de memoria, así que el que lo sabe de memoria, bien, no hay problema. Yes, porque yo lo que les pregunto por ahí es, chicos, ¿están leyendo? ¿No están leyendo? Yes, ok. Well, and you have all the comments there. Yes, ok. But well done, yes. Uh, I want you to put uh, there in the comment, yes, teacher, I understood all the mistakes, yes. Porque si no, ya saben que la teacher no se entera, yes. So, está bien ahí, yes, okay. And please write, yes, okay, teacher, entendido, cambio y fuera, okay. Well, so I want you to go uh, to, ex, uh, to page 27, but first of all, we are going to check. We are going to check pages. Checkamos las pages, come on. 24, 25, 26, okay? 24, 25, 26. Are you there? From the activity book, yes. And then we are going to do the listening from the activity. 24, lo pude meter en el plan. Yes, que hoy tengo el plan bien. Yes, all right? Good, 24, 24, 24. All right. 1C, 2A, 3C, 1C, 2A, 3C, 2, 1D, 2E, 3A, 4F, 5B, 
6C. Yes? Exercise 3. 1C. 2B. 3A. 4B. 5C. 6A. Be careful with the reading part. Yes? If you are seeing that in the reading you are having the 50%, Oh my God, you are having problems. So concentrate more on the next reading. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Because remember you have a reading, writing, speaking, listening, okay. Um, ¿Qué me falta? Listening, speaking, reading, writing. Uh, use of English, yes, okay. The, the, uh, the skills, yes, okay. Well, exercise four. Number one, lead. Number two, conduct. Number three, on. Number three, on, went on. Number four, way, push our way. Yes, okay. Number five, keep, keep it alive. And number six, narrow, have a narrow escape. Yes, okay. Good. Let's go to page 26. One, fall, two, no, perdón. One, F, two, A, three, D. 4C, 5E, 6B, 1F, 2A, 3E, 3D, 4C, 5E, 6B. Okay? Yes or no? This was, this was one. Number two. One. Invited. Have invited. Two. Was looking forward to it. Yeah, I tell you the two possibilities if there is a... Um, um, a possibility, yes, there, okay, a second possibility, number three, had booked, number two, was looking forward to, three, had booked, four, uh, four have a right, I have arrived in Oporto the night before, the weather was beautiful and it was really, remember the combination, when you go back in the past, you use the past perfect. You already know this, yes, okay? Number five, has never gone, yes, okay? This was number five. Number six, was looking. Number seven, was going. Number eight, realized. Number nine, explained. Number 10, was standing, yes? Okay, exercise three. Okay, the correct one is as soon as and when. The one you have to cross it out is afterwards, number two. The one you have to cross out is while. Number three, the one you have to cross out is by the time. Number four, during and after. Number five, afterward, cross it out. Number six, during. Number seven, cross it out by the time. And number eight, cross it out when and why, okay, is it clear? Shall we go to the listening? If you need a repetition, repetition, you have to rewind the video and play it again, yes, okay? Let's go to the listening, we are going to do page 27. So I want you to put the date in the activity book, in the exam maximizer, yes, okay. So I want you to put the date very quickly. Read it first. Yes, why the teacher is looking for the trap? I want you to read it first. Yes, teacher. So, the first thing you have to do there is to have a look at the pictures, the two pictures you have here, yes, and describe what can you see in the picture, yes, and then 
when you finish the description you will say why you like choose a picture and you will say why you like the picture yes or in which one would you choose and why you like it okay so in the first picture yes in the picture at the top you can see a group of people it's a crowded place they are about to enter the underground yes okay and in picture uh, they are there I can see some women some men yes and they are uh, in the mind, mind the gap zone zone yes okay and on the second picture the picture of the <coughs> above yes remember at the bottom at the top yes on the right on the left yes um, in the picture at the, the bottom I can see uh, two uh, men they, they look very tired so maybe one of them is uh, crying on the luggage on his luggage they looked they look very tired or sad maybe they are at the airport maybe they, they lost their flight yes okay so I want you to describe the pictures like the teacher did yes okay good there we are are you ready unit four Speaking Activity 1 Your pictures show people experiencing different problems while they are travelling. Compare the pictures and say how the people are feeling. Okay, we have already done this. Yes. Unit 4 Speaking Activity 2 Do you enjoy travelling on the underground? Do you enjoy traveling by plane? Do you think it's worse to be delayed at a train station or an airport? Why? Okay, so these are the questions, yes, you have to be prepared to answer there. Yes, is it clear? Yes, okay. Uh, do you like having delays? Yes, okay. Unit 4, speaking activity 2. Do you enjoy traveling on the underground? Do you, Do you enjoy traveling on the underground? Have you ever traveled by underground? Yes. Have you ever been in the tube? Yes. Advantages and disadvantages. Yes. Okay. Is it faster? Is it as fast as a train? Yes. What do you think? Do you enjoy traveling by plane? Do you think it's worse to be delayed at a train station or an airport? Mm -hmm. Which is worst? Which is the worst that can happen? To be delayed at the train station or at, at, an, at, at an airport? At the airport? What do you think? Or is the same? Yes, okay. Why? Okay, so now I want you to um, complete exercise one because it says listen to the question, then complete a candidate comments, the candidate or a candidate's comments about the picture with the words. I want you to use the words here and complete. Okay? Tell me when you are ready. Well, this is the time that you stop the video, do the activities, and then you play it again to listen to the answers. Number, no, don't cheat. Number one, probably. Number two, imagine. Number three, if. Number four, might. Number five, looks. Number six, sure. Yes, okay. People, the people in the second picture are probably at the airport. Remember to use probably. I think they are probably sad. Yes, they are probably, yes, okay. Uh, in a rush hour. Yes, okay. Number two. In, I imagine the people at the airport are feeling pretty fed up. Yes, okay. Uh, you know, angry. Yes, number three. Uh, it looks as if the people in the first picture are trying to get on the underground train. Number four. It might be during the rush hour, what the teacher said. Yes, okay. But remember to use probably. It looks as if. Yes, um... I imagine, yes, it might be because you are predicting about the picture. Number five, one person at least looks really tired, yes. Number six, 
I'm sure it's really boring to wait for ages like that because this is your opinion, all right? So let's go to um, the next listening, exercise eight, yes. Unit four, listening activities one and two. Today we're talking to Monty Saunders, the author of the new book, Who Would Believe It? This book is about unusual events that sound more like fiction than fact. It's quite an amazing book, Monty. Oh, thank you. I had a lot of fun writing it. I had the idea when I saw a film about how a man managed to survive after a plane crash. I found it fascinating. And it started me thinking about how strong our instinct to survive is. And I began looking for other interesting survival stories. Mm, I think one of my favourites in the book is The Man in the Car. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, I love this one too. It's quite incredible. Remember to read exercise one and two. Read it first, yes? Because I'm not sure that you have read it, okay? Read the sentences, okay? Read it first and then I play it. Come on. Scan the sentences quickly, yes? And then we're going to do it. Remember, whenever we are going, to, we, whenever we do a, a listening activity, a listening activity, you have to read the sentences first because it will be the same listening for the two activities. Okay. In activities one and two. Today we're talking to Monty Saunders, the author of the new book. Who would believe it? This book is about unusual events that sound more like fiction than fact. It's quite an amazing book, Monty. Oh, thank you. I had a lot of fun writing it. I had the idea when I saw a film about how a man managed to survive after a plane crash. I found it fascinating. And it started me thinking about how strong our instinct to survive is. And I began looking for other interesting survival stories. Mm, I think one of my favourites in the book is The Man in the Car. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, I love this one too. It's quite incredible. It was in the northeast of Sweden, and two people just passing on snowmobiles thought they had found an abandoned car buried in the snow. They managed to scrape snow and ice off the windscreen, and to their amazement, they found a man lying on the back seat of the car. He was alive. Later, the man told the police that he'd been there for two months. But how on earth did it happen? Apparently, the man had money problems and he'd broken up with his girlfriend. He was depressed and it's possible he just drove off the main road into a forest area to think about his problems. <laughs> and then the car got stuck in the snow and he couldn't get out. <laughs> I suppose the big question is how did he survive? Yes, to live for two months in a car without food or drink is incredible. Also, it was absolutely freezing. The temperatures dropped to minus 30 degrees during that time. But some doctors believe that the car acted like a sort of igloo. You know, the little houses made of ice where the Eskimos live. Mm. Also, he had thick clothing and a good sleeping bag to give him some protection. But surely people can't live that long without food or water? The man has said that he ate handfuls of snow and he had a few basic supplies in the car, like chocolate bars, but apparently it is possible to live that long without food. At the end of the period, the body has become very thin, but you can survive. I understand that some doctors think there is another explanation for his survival. True. Some believe that the human body can lower its temperature when it gets very cold and everything slows down. A bit like animals which go into hibernation for the winter. You don't need to eat or drink. You've read about bears who go into a cave and sleep all through the winter without food or water. Mm. Well, maybe somehow this Swedish man did that. Some experts think differently and say that it's impossible, but nobody really knows. I guess he was a really lucky guy. Thank you, Monty. And remember, listeners, Monty's book is full of more fascinating stories like this one. And you can buy it now at all good bookshops. I can thoroughly recommend it. Okay, well, you know, uh, did you like this story, yes or no? Remember, if you need to rewind, uh, if you need to listen again, you need to rewind it, yes, and play it again. 
Yes, but you know, uh, this man could survive. Yes, he had different kind of problems with a girlfriend, so he went in the car. Yes, that it was extremely freezing. Yes, extremely freezing. Remember this. Because today we are going to give extreme adjectives. Absolutely cold, yes? Absolutely cold. It's extremely freezing, yeah? It's when you want to emphasize, yes? You use these extreme adjectives when you want to sound, uh, when, you might, when you want you make your sentence, when you want to make the sentence sound um, with more emphasis, okay? Yes, extremely freezing is very 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 cold yes so um, he could survive because they say that he has some basic supplies supplies yes and they say scientists says that um, it's because our uh, they say that our body when it is um, under high very high temperatures they say in the um, uh, in the listening that our body can lower temperature yes so we can survive he could survive in this way but it doesn't matter yes have you ever listened uh, have you ever listened a story like this that a person could survive survive uh, in a car yes under extreme very extreme uh, temperatures yes high temperature well you know he could well okay well, um, this is a very interesting story. Good. So, number one, uh, yes, probably. No, sorry. Number one, who wouldn't believe it? Yes, number two, Sweden, the North East. And number three, he lived. Yes, okay, he lived. Yes. Who could believe it? Number two, Sweden, the North East. North East. He lived, yes, 1A, yes, 1A. Why did Monty write a book? Because he saw an interesting film. 2B, the man was found by two people, B, who were traveling in the area. Number 3A, Monty thinks the man was in the car because uh, he was as upset because of personal, uh, personal relationship. Well, okay. Number 4C, his survival was probably helped because he was able to cover himself warmly and number five b yes what do doctors disagree about whether people can uh live like ah uh, uh, yes okay if they can live the uh, the uh, the, um, the discussion is is that they they think if people can live like animal when it's cold yes they are not sure they are not sure about it Yes, that's what they say, that they are not sure if the people, if people can live, uh, yes, uh, under high temperature. It is said, or they think that uh, the body lower the, um, the temperature, yes, okay? So, I don't know, yes, the hibernación and everything, yes, okay? Well, um, yes, we don't know, yes, so this was said there in the listening. Okay, you are not igual que los animales. Yes, okay. So they aren't sure about that. Yes, how he could survive. Yes, okay. So let's go to um, 42 and 43. Put the date on the two pages. Yes, 42 and 43. Put the date there in the gun book. Yes, all right. All right, there we are. Yes, okay. Good, 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 good. Did you put the date? Why I'm preparing the listening? You put the date on the two pages. Yes, yes, yes. There we are. Pam 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 pam. How are you dealing Unit four. with your life, with your school staff and everything? Are you okay? Mm. Are you, what are you doing? What are you doing these days? Hmm? Are you working out? Are you doing school homework? 
uh, the, the homework from English. I know you are doing, but how are you doing at home? What things are you doing? Has your life changed? My life, is it? Yes, because I'm recording in the morning. Yes, and I'm recording in the afternoon. I have a lot of work nowadays. Yes, but I am organizing to have a, a time with my daughters because you know they have homework from the kindergarten, from the school. Yes, so we are working out when we have time, at least one hour a day. Yes, but sometimes, you know, we record in the morning and in the afternoon because I'm with all the courses. But it is a, a matter of organization. Yes, yeah? so what are you doing at home? Write me a, the message there in the Google Classroom and tell me what you are doing. Oh, maybe not today. But then I will, in the next video, this is what you are going to do. Yes, you are going to tell me. Yes, we, we have to go on with uh, Unify. But in the next video, maybe you can tell me what you are doing these days. How you are organizing. Because seeing, watching Netflix all, every day and all day long is boring. So, are you working out? Are you cycling at home? Are you doing a kind of... Uh, uh, stations, yes, like a circuito, yes, okay, of exercises at home. So the next video would be like this, yes, not a story, not anything, but you telling me what you are doing these days and how you are organizing. If you find uh, any advantage of this situation or are all these advantages, okay, good, because I want to know, yes, okay. Well, number one, are you there? It says, uh, we learn, we can learn more from traveling. How do you learn? Yes, a language, for example. Yes, uh, do you learn by traveling? The only way is traveling to another place where they speak English, for example. Uh, we can learn more from traveling to different countries than we can at school. Do you agree? Would you like to spend a year traveling around the world? The world? Yes, no, why? Okay? Do you think traveling is the only way you can learn? Yes? Um, how do you think people learn better? In isolation, alone, or with a group of people? Yes? Okay? I want you to think about this and I want you to talk about this for some minutes, for three minutes at home. Uh, would you like to travel? Yes? Uh, around the world for one year do you like would you like to take a year off well now it seems it could be impossible but in another occasion what do you think yes it would be nice yes or no what advantages can bring you travel traveling around the world yes i could i think it it will bring you a lot of advantages for example learning new languages yes not only one language but new languages if you are open to learn because if you are not open to learn, it would be impossible, yes, okay? Uh, you can know many people, you can make more, you can make more friends uh, around the world, yes? You can really understand the history, I see, aquí va history in este context, the history of each country. You can, you can feel it, you can um, touch it, yes? It wouldn't be on a book only, but you will feel it, you will see it, okay? And apart from that, uh, traveling makes you be more mature, yes? In many aspects, yes, of your life, okay? So I want you to talk about this topic and consider the things, the advantages and disadvantages, okay? So let's go very quickly to um, the listening part. Listen to a part of an interview with a girl who went with her family on a year-long trip around the world which countries does she mention? And then we are going to do the listening interview and you have to, for question one to five, you have to choose the best answer, A, B or C, okay? And then we continue with the listening. Yes, you have to complete and then listening and check. And then you have to um, complete the dialogues from one to four with expressions in activity four. And then we are going to imagine we went on an adventure. Yes, okay, there in that place, okay? There we are. Listening focus, activity two. So Jesse, you've just returned from a big adventure. 
Yeah, I suppose you could call it that. It was certainly a lot different from spending a year in the classroom. It, it seems a strange thing to do. I mean, why did your parents suddenly decide to take you and your brothers on a trip around the world? It wasn't exactly a sudden decision, you know. They'd been planning it for years, and then it just seemed the right time. I think they wanted to give us first-hand experience of things you can't get from books or TV programmes. You know, things like the amazing smells after the rains in Africa, the incredible light you get in the desert, and the real experience of meeting and making friends with people from different cultures. That sort of thing. Mm, I see what you mean. And you chose to fly to some places, didn't you? Well, Dad had planned to take a camper van, but then we thought that it would be more practical to fly between major destinations because a camper van would take us ages to get anywhere. Then we used different kinds of public transport. In some places it was cheap overloaded buses and once it was camels. <laughs> <laughs> Mum panicked a bit on hers, but I thought it was great fun. I imagine there were a lot of highlights. Can you think of one that the whole family liked? That's a tricky one to answer. We all like different things. For me, riding an elephant was a magical moment. Mm. I also really enjoyed finding out about local customs, like the Hindu festivals. Matthew, he's a lot younger than me. His dream was to swim with dolphins. As for Nathan, well, he's only two, and I don't know how much he'll remember but he absolutely loved the Chinese New Year celebrations with all the dragons in the street. Oh. In fact, I think that was a favourite with all of us. The atmosphere was electric. I'm sure there were some scary moments. Any particularly close shades? Like when Matthew went whitewater rafting? Yes, that was in New Zealand. We were travelling really fast on the raft and suddenly it tilted and Matthew fell into the water. It was terrifying. Mum was screaming and Dad nearly jumped into the water to go after him, but the water was so rough that we couldn't see anything. Then we caught sight of him in the calm water ahead. He'd been carried past us. Luckily, he was wearing his life jacket and wasn't hurt. In fact, he was quite thrilled by the whole event. <laughs> he tells everyone about his narrow escape now. <laughs> um, quite a lot of people have criticised your parents for taking you out of school for a year. What do you think was the educational value of the trip? I think it's been a wonderful opportunity. Matthew and I still had classes with my parents every week to keep up to date with maths and stuff. But what we learnt during that year will definitely help us in the future and stay with us all forever. Okay, well, so if you need to listen, it's very interesting. It is a very interesting story. Yes, okay, but if you want to listen again, you want, I want you to uh, rewind it, play it again, and then listen to the activities. But, you know, uh, it was a uh, very, very, uh, it was a very entertaining uh, trip, yes, okay? And they uh, use different kind of uh, transport, different means of transport, yes? Okay, camels, elephant, yes? Then they had a van, yes? But it was very slow, so uh, they take, they took um, different uh, flights from one place, place to another and they use different means of tra transport, okay? Um, the advantage, she, uh, one of the advantages she mentions is the, um, the opportunity that she had to find out different things about local costumes, yes? Okay, costumes, no costumes, costumes, yes? I was thinking about the costumes from the uh, Chinese uh, New Year because her brother, what he, uh, the most, uh, the thing he really liked was the Chinese New Year, yes, the dragon uh, costumes, yes, the dragon faces and everything, and it was very, um, she said, uh, electric, yes, everything, an electric year, something like that, yes, okay, and uh, 
there wasn't a disadvantage about learning the learning process because they continue they continue uh, learning at home yes and they keep up to date yes everything yes because their parents touch them at home yes okay so i want you to um there were thrilling moments shape moments yes moments when um a close shape moment she said and uh it was a very um you know scary moment with the rafting thing and everything there yes okay and now uh, her brother tells everybody about that moment yes okay but it was a scare a scary moment at that period yes okay that day okay so i want you to check number two china new zealand india it is referred but not mentioned directly uh, africa is mentioned but it, this is a continent not a country yes so they were they went over there number three one a 2a 3c 4b and 5c yes number four one suppose two no three sort yes that sort of thing that kind of thing number four mean yes i see what you mean uh tricky that is a tricky question yes does teacher would make uh tricky questions yes stuff Yes, okay, math, keep up to date, keep up to date, yes, what is keep up to date, yes, we keep up to date with math and, yes, okay, and, um, yes, and stuff, yes, okay, good, keep up to date, mantenerse al día, si, no se atrasaron, yes, you, you are keeping up to date with the classes, yes, thanks God. Number five, okay, I see what you mean. Number two, I suppose you could call it, it's that. That's a tricky one to answer for and stuff, that sort of thing. Yes, okay. Uh, well, that's all from here. And you have to, in number six, you have to imagine you went on an, on an adventure like Jesse's. What do you think could be the best way of traveling? Where would you like to go and why? So I want you to think about this. Yes, I want you to tell me what places, write down on a paper or just orally and I want you to, te to tell me which places would you like to go, why and what means of tra transport uh, would you use, how would you organize this uh, trip, yes, and how, a very good question that you have to think is how you will organize the, your studies, your learning, yes, how. With your parents teach, will you organize uh, your education? How? What, how many subjects per day will you do? Or you will forget about the subjects, okay? I want you to think about that and talk about this for some minutes, for two or three minutes, okay? Let's go to page 43. Yes, you have to look at the photos and you have to describe the sort of journey the people are having, yes, okay? I want you to describe it, yes? Okay, uh, what can you see the, on the picture at the top, on the picture at the bottom, yes? And I want you to tell me what you think about this, yes? Okay, and I want you to write uh, adjectives there, for example, terrible, terrifying, freezing, exhausting, exhausted, starving, yes? Okay, so these are natural disa uh, dis disasters, yes? Okay, uh, on the picture at the top is it's extremely freezing yes uh, on picture two uh, you are uh, it's uh, an airplane crash yes okay so these are disasters yes okay so I want you to read exercise two yes um, well they are traveling by car in picture one Yes, and in picture two, if you have to say picture one and picture two, uh, it is a, they were play, they were traveling by plane on a plane and the plane crashed. Oh my God, it's um, scary. Yes, so I want you to do exercise two to listen, to read the description of the journey and underline the adjectives that make it sound dramatic. Yes, because extreme adjectives, for example, absolutely uh, freezing, 
absolutely boiling, uh, absolutely uh, starving, absolutely terrifying, abs absolutely exhausted, absolutely fascinating, absolutely tiny, terrible, enormous, yes? Okay, those are extreme adjectives. So I want you to highlight with a highlighter all the adjectives you find there, okay? Ready, steady, go. Do it, come on. I wait for you. Okay, so we have terrible, terrifying, freezing, yes, exhausted, and starving, when you are dying, yes, of hunger, yes, okay, good, well, uh, then you have extreme adjectives, I want you to go to exercise three, do the activity there, yes, okay, good, number one, E, one E, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay, because I continue, one E, Two, J, yes, okay, hot is boiling, three, H, hungry, starving, four, uh, I, four, I, scary, terrifying, number five, A, yes, tired, exhausted, number six, C, interesting, fascinating, number seven, G, small, tiny, number eight, B, but, terrible, Number nine, yes, nine, big is F, enormous, and D, yes, number ten, D, loud, deafening, yes, okay, good. Um, well, and it says the language tip, I want you to highlight that we don't use a very with extreme adjective, no, it's almost very freezing, eh, okay, but we can use absolutely Yes, to make the adjective even stronger. It was absolutely freezing. Acordate que no usas verbi, okay? Good. All right, so let's go to exercise four. The listening, listen to the dialogue and repeat, copy the stress and intonation, yes, okay? Um, we are about to finish, yes, okay? Unit four, vocabulary focus. Activity four, one. Was it a scary journey? Was it a scary journey? Yes. Scary? It was terrifying. Scary? It was terrifying. Acabamos de sonar con los falling and rising intonation. Eh? Was it cold when you fell into the water? Was it cold when, it, when you fell into the water? Cold? Cold. It was freezing. It was freezing. Yes, okay. This is the correct intonation, okay? So, uh, I want you to... Um, uh, think about, pónganle talking, por favor, ahí. Think about a story, yes, um, using these kind of adjectives, yes, and you have to begin like this. I will never forget the time when I was, yes, in a camping, yes. Uh, the thing was that it was a very hot day, but in the end, at night, yes, uh, it became very it became absolutely freezing. The thing was that the thing was was that any of us had taken uh, blankets. So uh, at the end, at night, we were uh, absolutely freezing because uh, they hadn't taken blankets, and we were absolutely starving because parents forgot to put in our bags different food and drinks okay for example like this yes so i want you to think about that moment and i want you to add these extreme adjectives yes absolutely ex uh, extremely yes okay absolutely exhausted i was absolutely exhausted yes uh, it was a terrible night because I remember we were absolutely freezing. 
Yes. Um. Well, uh, I remember it was also terrifying because the bombero appeared. Yes, I will never forget that night. Okay. Well, something like this. Okay. Well, um, I see you next class. Yes. Do uh, the pages and write your own examples. Yes, I want you to write in your notebook of English own examples and do page 28 exercises 1 and 2 from the exam by Simaise. See you next class. Bye bye, fifth year.